Stage one coming up to startup pressures. Minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Telemetry nominal. Now we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 vehicle as it carries S Hale 2 uh, communication satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now we've cleared the towers and we are ascending. The next major milestone as we come up is max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience as it goes through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. As we get higher, the density of the atmosphere decreases and there's less and less load on the vehicle. You should hear the call out for that soon. Vehicle is passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've had max Q, so again, decreasing pressure on the vehicle as we continue to ascend through the thinner parts of the upper atmosphere. Now we're coming up on a sequence here where a few chill. events will happen in very short succession. Those events are MECO, stage separation, and then SES-1. Those stand for MECO, main engine cutoff stage separation, and then SES, which is second engine start number one, the first of the two planned burns today. And those are, Miko is when we shut off the nine Merlin engines of the first stage, and then once we've shut those down, we separate the two stages, and then once the stages are separated, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, is exposed to space and it will begin burning. That will happen over the span of about 10 seconds, starting about 20 seconds or so from now. Again, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start. Miko, we have stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> and back ignition. And we have had second engine start as the orange glow appears to brighten up the Merlin vacuum engine in the center of your screen. Again, transitioning the responsibilities from the first stage to the second stage. We'll follow both of those vehicles in parallel as we continue this webcast. But for now, the next major milestone is on the second stage, and that is when we deploy the fairings that encapsulate the payload. So s -Hale 2 is protected from the aerodynamics of ascent by that fairing. Once we're out in space, the air is not thick. We do not need it anymore, so we drop it to reduce our total mass. That fairing deployment will occur about 10 seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And with the fairings deployment that you saw on your screen, we now have S-Hail 2 exposed to that beautiful vacuum of space.